Hi, everybody. Randy Dean, email sanity expert. Hey, time for another video in the new Outlook series. You know, we've got the new Outlook that's been coming out and people are trying to figure out how they can do the same stuff in the new version. Here's one that I think you're going to find super handy, super easy. It's how you can create a new contact in your Outlook contacts from the email that you've received, as well as how you can easily edit contacts that are already in your contact database. So let's pop out to new Outlook real quick. Uh, and when I open this up, I'm gonna go close that email. Let's go out here. First thing I wanna show you is all you have to do, which is real simple, let me move myself a little out of the way here, is open up the email. And when the email is open, you do a hover, sort of like Gmail, hover over the person's contact information. And you'll see, notice it's giving me the option of myself, but what's interesting is if I come up here to the three dots, the ellipses, and I click on this, uh, it gives me the option to export data, update profile is where I would make some changes. Now, this knows it's me. Um, now, let me show you something that's interesting though. Let me close this. And I just received this like marketing email from TradePub. Uh, I'm going to open that email. And by opening the email, if I hover now, now watch what it does. It brings up contact information, but now if I come over here, uh, you will see that not only does it give me the chance to find the LinkedIn profile, but if I come over to the three dots one more time, I can add to contacts. And here's where I could basically click this and create a new contact uh, based off of this where I can add in a lot of this information. Now remember, some of this information might be in the signature of the person in the email. So um, you might just be wanting to copy and paste a little bit of this information and be ready for doing these inputs inside of here. Uh, I'm gonna hit cancel. I don't wanna put this actually in my database and I'm going to close this one. Uh, yes, I'll discard the changes, but it's that easy. It really is that easy. You just open the email and hover and you'll get your options to either update or add new. Um, so I thought you'd like to see that. Now, if you have ever looked at my local client version Outlook, uh, in a number of my previous videos, I've shown this tip in here. You can do the same thing in local client version in a slightly different method. Here's how you do that. You just pick up the email and drag it over here to people and drop it. That's called a drag and drop. And notice what that did. It just created a brand new contact based off of the sender of the email. And to show you how this works real quick, once again, here's the text of the message down here. And I can quickly select information from this and import it over into the fields to create that new contact. Now, I know I'm already in the database. Watch what happens when I save and close. Checks the database to keep me from creating unnecessary duplicates. So, um, and if you're not in the database, uh, it will create a new contact, obviously. So um, both of these are good tips. One last thing before I forget, if you're using the web Outlook version, I just jumped into my Chrome browser, notice this, open the email, hover, works the same, okay? So regardless of whether you're using web Outlook, outlook.live.com, or you're using new Outlook, the onboard app, or you're using the local client version, the version that many of us have been using for the past 15 years. Um, any of those give you options for easily and quickly creating new contacts for your database from your emails. All right, so let's wrap this one up. Once again, Thank you for your time. I'm Randy Dean, the email sanity expert. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about me, go check out my website, randalldean.com. Um, you can also send me a quick little email, randy at randalldean.com, and I will send you a set of my productivity PDF documents, including my YouTube channel guide, which will give you links to a hundred of the videos on my channel. Um, so you can pick up even more tips. Um, and obviously, if you like these videos, please like, please subscribe, please share. Helps the channel. Thanks. Bye, everybody.